What's going on, my peeps? And welcome to another episode of Tactical Support. I am your host, Al Smith, and today we're going to learn about the proper pH levels to get the most out of your St. Augustine grass. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's get started. All right, so the first thing to note is that your St. Augustine grass likes to be in an alkaline state, right? It likes the soil that the roots grow in to be in an alkaline state, right? Now, here's how we determine if your soil is in an alkaline or acidic state. Anything, just say five and a half and below, that's acidic. Anything six and above, that's alkaline. Normally, your St. Augustine grass does good and even great in states of six to six and a half. Now, here's how you test your soil. What you wanna do is take a small shovel, go out in your yard and find a spot in your yard that you can dig up some of the dirt. And what you wanna do is you wanna dig a small little hole where you can get about five or six inches worth of dirt and you wanna put it in a cup right here is a measuring cup that I have. And what I did was I got some dirt um, that I had purchased and I, I purchased some topsoil just for this example. But what you would wanna do is just like I say, go out into your yard with a small shovel, find a spot that you can dig a little hole and put some in the cup. The next thing that you would wanna do is you would wanna get some distilled water. I have some and you can go to any big box store and get some distilled water. Walmart, Winn-Dixie, whatever is closest to you that sells water, they'll normally have this. So what you wanna do is, you wanna get your water, you wanna get the soil that you have in your cup, and you just wanna pour the distilled water into the cup. And basically, you want the distilled water or you want your soil to become a little bit muddy, right? The next thing you wanna do is you wanna get you a tester. You can get you a pH tester and you can go to any hardware store that can be, I don't know, Lowe's, Home Depot, Ace Hardware, if you have one in your area and you can find one of these pH testers. You can even go to Walmart and get you a pH tester as well. Walmart or Target, um, most big box, stores they have ph testers but you can go and get you a ph tester um, they normally run ten dollars and up right you want to make sure that your tester is clean so when you put it into the soil you can get an accurate reading right we want to leave our ph tester in the cup of water with the soil we want to make sure that it's muddy and we want to leave it in here for about a minute and i'll come back all right, so I'm gonna try to show you, hopefully it can pick it up. But as you can see, our soil is at about six and a half on the pH balance tester. And this is good. That means that if I use this soil in my, in my yard, um, and I put the side or I put the grass on top of this soil, that means that it's gonna bring out the maximal potential in this side, in my grass, right? And so it's good. But now, if your soil that's in your cup is at a five and a half or below, that's a bad sign. And what normally happens to grass that is in acidic soil is you normally start to get weeds, you start to get all types of stress, your grass will even die out once it gets into acidic levels. So we wanna make sure that we're staying in an alkaline state. We wanna make sure that our soil is staying in an alkaline state to help your grass be able to produce at the fullest potential year round, all right? Listen, my name is Al Smith. This has been another episode of Technical Support. If you like this video or you found this video helpful, I want you to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. 
And until next time, take care.